And welcome back. I'm Chris Collinsworth, and we are inside the vault. I'm here with Jill Wagner and Alonzo Bowden and Motor Trends Editor-in-Chief Angus McKenzie. And we're talking about how guys today balance it all. And I know a big part of this balancing act is the idea. Occasionally, even if you're an old married guy, you got to escape, right? Absolutely. I mean, the getaway is the thing. And for me, as funny as it might seem, you know, I'm running a magazine, a website, an iPad, a video channel. I actually like to get in a car and drive somewhere. But somewhere particular, I actually like to get in a car and go skiing. The technology can't reach you. You just, no one can get you, no one can touch you. And at the end of a week of skiing, you're bone weary, but your brain's really You know, that's out. a really good point. When you are somewhere where you cannot be reached by the Blackberry or the iPhone or whatever the case, that's a vacation right there. What do you do? What's your escape? Motorcycles. I, I ride motorcycles. And it's funny you mention that because now they have Bluetooth for motorcycle helmets. Oh, we're we're no. all like, no. we're all well. like, that is the worst thing. Get it away from me. My favorite place being alone inside my helmet. Joe, you know, what, what do you think? Well, if I have the time, I what I love to do is go back to North Carolina, go back to my roots, go back home. But if I don't have the time, I'm easy. All I need is a glass of wine and good music. I'm good. All right. Well, Angus, I understand whoa, 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 that. Uh, what? What's yours? How do you escape? I coach the girls' track team. It is unbelievable. But Angus, I know the uh, escape, a big part of it is you gotta have a car, get out there on the road and let's go. Absolutely, the car, you can create your own world. You know, you put in your own music, you get in the rhythm of the road and you can take all your stuff with you. For me, I like to go skiing, but others have the same idea as well, just like my friend Gory. Gory Malofsky is like a lot of men you know. We have to bring our A-game to the office every day. Who struggle daily to strike a balance between having a personal life and meeting the demands of his job. I'm working for a company that produces some of the biggest weddings and parties around the country. This is high pressure work. But when his truck isn't serving double duty as his mobile office, it's helping Gurry remind himself life isn't about where you go, it really is about how you get there. This is where I rediscover myself. No Facebook, no Twitter, no email, no phone calls, just me, my surfboard, and the waves. Once you get in the water, once you do that first stroke, when you paddle, everything that the day threw at you dissolves, everything just goes away. I call the ocean my free therapist. I go in as one person and I come out as another. I think this is why my wife really lets me go every time. A couple of hours of this and my head is in a completely different place. I love my job, but I can only do it well because I know how to get away from it all. I hope he doesn't have his Blackberry with him out there. That would not be uh, <laughs> would not be good. But everybody does. We all have an escape. We all have a reason to escape, I, I guess. So what's the bottom line? What have we learned out of this whole thing? That it's great to work, great to have a family, whatever the case may be, but you got to reserve a little time for yourself. Is that it? Oh, absolutely. You need to. You need to recharge the batteries, I believe. I mean, when I do my skiing, I can't turn on any phone. No one can find me, you know, and that's a great liberating feeling. I think one of the worst things that's ever happened, apart from your Bluetooth helmet on your motorcycle, is having Wi-Fi on aircraft. I mean, I used to enjoy a plane ride if I was traveling, you know, to Europe or something like that. It was the only time I'd get any quality reading happening. Now, you, you know, feel guilty you that feel you guilty. have to work. You've got to do the email, you have to work. The work-life balance I've found as a foreigner coming to live here is, is all wrong. This country works so hard, but needs to take some time to relax. Well, it's a miserable bachelor, which is nothing <laughs> which I Which you established early I on in this program. I think we've learned on this yes. show just how miserable I am. <laughs> the therapist I, is on his way. I, I actually, I find that, like you, you were talking about the road trips. If I'm working in California, Nevada, or Arizona, I drive because I love that time in the car, you know, just on the road. If I couldn't work on the airplane, if I couldn't work in the car, if I couldn't just travel, there's just, I couldn't survive. I couldn't do what I do. All right, well, I'm gonna have to escape once again. Here we go. There'll be more Inside the Vault next. These keys open doors to opportunity. 
faith-filled communities and know how to have a good time. It's Chevy Truck Month. Get your keys. Qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months on all 2011 Silverado half-ton models. Grab yours today. Well, we're out of time, but I think the one thing we did learn today is that both Jill and Alonzo are completely miserable human beings as single people. So for more of what you saw here, make sure to visit InsideTheVault.tv. We will see you next time Inside the Vault. I'm Chris Collinsworth. Coming up on the next Inside the Vault, the other woman in men's relationships, sports. Prefer a hot woman or sports center? Then, the art of the tailgate. Million dollar trailers, friends, flat screens, and a 57 Chevy turned into a rolling grill. Plus, what happens when five regular Joes take on LeBron James? Oh. On the next Inside the Vault.